Okay, and welcome back students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. And we're doing the uh, chapter 18 drill problems, the odd numbered problems. However, um, we're actually doing more than the odd numbered problems because of uh, the way the problems are set up in the book. So uh, let's, we did um, one through four yes, uh, in the last video. So let's jump down here and I think the next group um, is going to be 5 through 15. So let's see what we got going here. All right, it says from the following, 18-5 um, to 18-12, calculate the cost of the ending inventory and cost of goods sold for LIFO, for that's problem 18-13, FIFO 18-14, the weighted average for 18-15. Make sure to first find total cost to complete the table. Ending inventory is 49 units. Okay, so basically what we're doing here is we're just doing the math across. So for the beginning inventory, 5 times 2 is $10. 10 times 250 is 25. 12 times 3 is 36. 15 times Three and a quarter is forty-eight seventy-five. Eighteen times four is seventy-two. Twenty times four twenty is eighty-four. Thirty-two times four forty is one forty eighty. And 16 times 48 is 7680. See what I have on my next slide here. All right, yeah. Okay, so um, we need to know the total number of units. All right, so I'm going to add up all of these units. So my total units are 128. And my total dollar cost is, when I add all of that up, that comes out to $493.35. Okay, so I'm going to just transfer that to the next slide here. So units equals uh, 128 and cost is equal to 493.35. Did I say 35? 35, right. Maybe I said 38. 128, it's morning. <laughs> All right, but yeah, that, those are the correct numbers. All right, so now that's problems five through 12. Okay, now um, 13, all right, um, we're going to do, now we're going to have to obviously be bouncing back and forth, back and forth here on the slides uh, in order to be able to uh, calculate this stuff out here, okay. So for 13, we're doing LIFO, okay. And our ending inventory is 49 units. Okay. So if we have 128 units total and our ending inventory is 49 units, we subtract the 49 units and we end up with. Uh, let's see, that's 9 from 11. We end up with 79 units that we have to uh, take out of inventory. Okay. So with LIFO, and I'm going to write down the side here. So if I have 79 units, okay, and with LIFO, it's last in, first out, so I'm going to take the last units out. So I'm going to take 16 away from in December. That gives me 3, 63 left. Then November 10th, I have to take out 32. 
that gives me 31 left for September 20th I still have I have 20 that I can take out that means I only have 11 left so out of um, August 18th okay I need to have 11 left I'm sorry I have to take out 11 okay and so if I take out 11 from 18 that means I only have seven left okay so in order to uh, find the cost of the inventory I have to extend these amounts here so I have 10 25 and 30, 10 25 36 let me do this in blue here okay I'm going to these are going to remain as my costs plus the 7 times 4 of 28 okay so I no longer have this $72 here all I have left is this 28 so I'm adding 10 25 36 48 75 and this 28 here and that gives me a total cost of 147.75 okay so that's my cost of ending inventory okay, so my cost of ending inventory it, for LIFO is 147.75 okay and my cost of goods sold is simply my total dollar cost of 493.35 less that 147.75 and that gives me, uh, let's see here, 06, 5, 4, 345.60 okay, as my cost of goods sold. All right? And that's how simple it is in doing the LIFO. Now, FIFO, I'm not going to repeat that because. Um, in doing LIFO, we're doing basically the same exact thing. Okay, I'm just going to erase the non-pertinent stuff here that we did for LIFO, but FIFO is um, basically just going in the opposite direction because why? We're taking first in, first out instead of last in, first out, but the process is still the same. Okay, um, we still know we have 128 units. Um, our ending inventory is 49 units, so we have to subtract out the 49 units. That means I have to take away 79 units out of my inventory. Remember, 128 units is what was available for sale. We still have 49 in our ending inventory. That means we sold 79. Okay. So now we have to take the 79 out of our inventory, right? So we start out here with 79. And since it's FIFO, we're going to deal with the first in are the first ones we're going to take out. Remember back to the theory video about the, the you know, refrigerator. You know, I, I opened the refrigerator. There was nothing in there. Okay, I closed the refrigerator. I opened the refrigerator. I put five in, closed the refrigerator. I opened the refrigerator. I have to put in 10 more from April 10th, so I push the 5 to the back and put the 10 in the front. Then I do the same thing with May uh, 15th and the 12th. I push the 5 and 10 to the back, and I put 12 in the front. Okay, And when I'm done, when I've come all the way down here to December 15th, and I've pushed everything else to the back, and I put 16 in the front, Okay, and I close the refrigerator, Right, that's my available for sale. You know, everything in that refrigerator is available for sale. So we have to now back out the 79 units. So being first in, first out, I'm reaching all the way around and I'm taking out what was first put into my inventory. So this 5 has to go. This gives me 74. We could take out this 10, which is 64. Take out the 12. Which is now 52 take out the 15 which is now 37 we take out the 18 
which is now 19. And since we have 20 left um, in September and we only need 19, we take out the 19 and that means we still have one left. Okay. So what do we have left in inventory? Well, we have one at 420, which is four dollars and twenty cents. We have the this 32, okay, these 32, so that's 140.80, and we have the 16 at 480, which is 76.80. Okay, so when we add all of those up, we get uh, 221.80. I just do there. Okay, we end up with 221.80 as our cost of goods. I'm mean, sorry, our cost of ending inventory for uh, FIFO. Okay, so that's 221.80. And then to get our cost of goods sold, it's not just simply taking 493.35 and subtracting 221.80. And we end up with uh, 55, 172, 271.55. Okay. And so you see that this here is basically just uh, a matter of repetition. I mean, if you, you understand the process, it's just basic math. Yeah, you can understand the process, but the idiosyncrasy of it is is that you have to know exactly what you're you know you're pulling what numbers you're going to be using and pulling in order to arrive at the correct answer but it's you know, nothing that you haven't done before um, it's not a, you know every like I said in some of the other videos um, you know it's just a, a lot of terminology that uh, you know you've seen but now it's you know just applied differently Okay, so let's see here. The last one we have to do is, um, uh, you know, the weighted average. Okay, so uh, let's see here. All right, with the weighted average method, we have to find an average dollar per unit. Okay, and when we get that average dollar per unit, then we're going to apply it against the 49 units that are left. Okay, so our average dollar per unit is here's our dollars 493.35 because why that's everything available for sale, and there was 128 that were available for sale. So on average, each one costs three dollars and eighty-five cents. Okay, so we take the three dollars and eighty-five cents and we multiply it by the 49 units. Okay. So 49 units is 49 units times the $3.85 gives me, because that's what's left in inventory, the 49 units, gives me $188.65 okay, as my cost of my ending inventory. So that's 188.65, and then this is just simply the subtraction again: 493.35 less 188.65, for which ends up being 304.70. So 304.70. Okay, and that's all it is. All right, um, a four. FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average. So, you know, it's just, you, you've seen it, you know, you saw, you know, you've worked through it, and it's just no different from any other problem that's going to be just thrown at you. It's just a matter of, you know, what format the information is being given to you in. It could be given to you vertically, it could be given to you horizontally, it could be given to you in a paragraph format. You know, put it in a table that, you know, is most comfortable for you. Um, if you have to, so that you know what's first in, first out, last in, you know, uh, first out. And, uh, you know, just work through the process the, the way I've showed you here. So uh, with that, I'm going to stop and we'll finish off with uh, 
uh, problems 17 through 19 uh, or 20, depending upon what it is, in the next video. Okay. If you have any questions, rewatch the videos, and if you still have a question, you know, feel free to contact an instructor. Okay.